Hey guys, this is Cybernet8610, and I thought I'd bring you guys another discussion video. I hadn't had a discussion video in a while, so I thought I would go ahead and make one. Anyway, let's see. Audrius, Keeper of Armageddon. Pretty cool card, a rank 5 monster. The first TCG exclusive XC monster that we received. Uh, it's Dark Fiend. It requires two level 5 monsters to bring out. 2,600 attack, 1,700 defense. And once per turn, you can attach one XC uh, material from this card to target one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty interesting XC monster. It is probably our best rank 5 one right now. Uh, there are some other rank 5 ones that are coming out that will probably be superior, but I still think this one will always be pretty good because it's uh, it's generic. It's kind of what you would expect from one of the first XC monsters because as expected, the first ones are going to be more generic, and then we're going to have more of those that are going to require a certain attribute, a certain monster, uh, different things like that. Sort of like what Synchros did, you know, or certain archetype, or whatever, you know, there's always something, it seemed like, on that. So yeah, it was, uh, uh, this one's pretty cool because it is generic. Uh, I like the artwork on it, it's kind of cool looking, it looks like a fable monster, and that's what it also has on the Wikipedia, how it kind of looks like a fable monster, which I do see the resemblance. Uh, its effect, I think, could be improved if it was, you know, where it could just destroy a card on the field versus a face-up card your opponent controls. So you could see it having a lot more play if it had that, because then you could, you know, target face-down cards as well as uh, cards on your side of the field as well. So it could also help you out uh, with certain strategies where you'd want to destroy your own cards on your side of the field. So yeah, not, re not really that bad. You could tell, of course, it also has a light counterpart, which is Tyrus, which we will have discussion on that one as well. It's another uh, rank 5 one we have. I believe they're the only two rank 5s we have out right now. Someone might correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case. So when this video is out, of course, they should be the only ones out. Uh, yeah, though, what do you guys think of this card? Do you use this card at all? Uh, do you think it's any good? You know, has it come in handy for you if you've used it? Uh, I haven't used this card because I don't... I can't think of any decks right now that I could even use it with because I don't use really any uh, any decks that could use level 5 monsters, rank 5 monsters, you know. So it's kind of useless for me right now because uh, there are a lot of strategies really though that could bring out rank 5s, you know, like there's people that use the tricky, uh, the quick draw strategy, uh, cyber dragon, ghost ship, uh, wind ups in general can usually bring out level 5s or rank 5's pretty easy. I'm not used to calling them ranks yet either, it's weird. Anyway though, uh, none of the decks I'm really running yet though can use this card, so I'm hoping in the future there'll be more archetypes out there that will come out that will use uh, rank 5's a lot easier. So yeah though, really interesting, like I said, I like the artwork of this card, I like the artwork of its light counterpart Tyrus as well. They look really neat, it's kind of like, you know, the demon, the angel kind of thing going on, uh, which could come in handy for like chaos decks, which is gonna be big this format of course, you know, with a blackluster soldier or pack. And uh, so yeah, tell me what you think in the comments of this card. Do you think it's garbage? Do you think it's the best thing ever since sliced bread? You know, just tell me what you think. All right, and uh, yeah, please subscribe for more discussions. I plan to do more discussions. Just been crazy with other things like that. I have so many videos I'm trying to work on, like uh, deck profiles, openings. There's always pack openings. If always, I still always get this question. But if there's a pack coming out for the TCG, I will open it in on video. So yeah, and uh, yeah, just subscribe. Bye guys! Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed my latest video. For more great videos over Yu-Gi-Oh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out the description to see my Facebook account, and also see my website, Cyrus.com, for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh news. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!